Hi everyone, welcome back to another Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity video with me, Dom, from The Game Looters. Today guys, we're going to be talking about all about the Sheikah Sensor. So the Sheikah Sensor is an awesome tool that if you are playing through Age of Calamity and you are not using it, then you need to get on it like yesterday. The Sheikah Sensor is going to open up very early in the story for you, and I'm going to cover exactly when. And when you get it, it's going to be extremely useful when you are trying to unlock everything on your map. And as you continue the story of Age of Calamity, there's going to be a lot of things on your map. And when you get them and unlock them, they're going to be extremely useful. So you need to be really thoughtful on exactly what items that you are hunting. Now what the Sheikah sensor does is the Sheikah sensor is going to allow you to pinpoint specific items that you want to farm. So first and foremost, let me go ahead and tell you exactly how you'll get the Sheikah sensor if for some reason you don't have it. So the first thing is, early on in chapter 2, what you need to do is there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's 5 missions in chapter 2. Well, when you complete 2 of the missions in chapter 2, and you can do them in any order you want. It doesn't matter which ones. The only ones that you can't do is the Yiga clan attacks because that's like the end one. But if you want to do Mifa's Domain, Daruk's, Revali's, or Obosa, that doesn't matter. Whichever ones that you do, you just need to do two. Now, once you complete two, you're going to unlock the Sheikah Sensor. Now, the Sheikah Sensor, again, is super duper useful. So, the first thing I want to talk about is when you go and hover over specific things that are going to require uh, specific items, like this one here. So, if we go into this one, this one requires a Lionel Hoof and a Lionel Trophy, which, again, the Lionel Hoof, I have 7 out of 10. I don't have any Lionel Trophies yet. So, what you do is you're able to track three different quests, or actually you're able to track two different quests, and then as you uh, progress in the game, you're able to unlock more Sheikah items that you can basically track. But regardless, you're able to track a certain number of quests. And when you track this, let's say this is the one I want to track, I can go ahead and hit X. When I hit X, it's going to assign it to the registry for the Sheikah sensor. Now when it does that, as you guys see, I have a whole bunch of stuff that is highlighted in green. So like this this mission here is highlighted in green. This means that I may come across a Lino here. This one here is highlighted in green. This one's Innkeeper's Request. This means that I'm going to come across a, a Lino in this one too. And if I look at it, and if I look at the main enemies in battle info, I can see here that yeah, in fact, the first enemy there is a Lino. So I can basically now go in and do this mission to try and get one of the Lionel things that I'm looking for. Now that's the first piece of it. So you could track, I, I believe it's one quest to start and then as you progress, you're going to be able to unlock different things on your map to increase the amount of quests that you can track with your Sheikah sensor, okay? Now the next thing that, that we do here is if you guys go over to, uh, let's see, where is it at? So if we go over, okay, this is what we're going to do. So go ahead and push the plus button on your controller. And then come over, it, it might start here, right? But come over and uh, hit the L button and come over to materials. And as we look here on the Sheikah sensor right now, I don't have anything on the sensor because I am currently just tracking quests. But I know for a fact I need some hardy salmon and I already have one in my, uh, in my inventory. So look at the hardy salmon here. So the, you, you see on the bottom left hand, it says edit sensor. So if I go ahead and hit A, it's going to add the hardy salmon to my uh, things that I'm looking for. The next thing is, uh, if I come over to my monster parts here, I know that I was looking for a lino hoof. So again, I can go ahead and do the lino hoof. So let's say that I don't want to track the quest that the lino is in. I just want to track the one specific item. Because let's say I just need that one item, but I already have one. Um, the other one that I know I need is I need one more of the ice keys wings. So then I can track that here. So then now when we go back out, there's going to be some additional things that have been highlighted if the missions will give me. So like now Zora's Domain is highlighted and Akala Citadel is highlighted. So these are missions I've already done. And it's basically saying that, yeah, you know, if you go do these missions that you could potentially go and find these items. And it's going to just go ahead and highlight a lot of these things. So like look at this one. So this is, this is a seller here. So if I go into the seller and I go buy... It's basically saying I just highlighted the icy key swing, so now I can go in and buy them, right? And boom, now I'm able to actually get all of the icy key swings that I was looking for. 
Guys, this has been a full guide on how to use the Sheikah sensor and how to use it to your advantage. That way you can go and farm a bunch of items, whatever you need. Monster parts, uh, ancient cores, whatever you need. You can go and farm them now and you can go back and do specific missions without guessing which missions that you have to do guys i hope this was super duper useful to you i hope this guy was helpful make sure to subscribe if it was and then follow for more and we do live stream every friday to monday 8 30 p.m come by a stream to say what's up and if you like the video please do hit the like button it definitely helps us out if you dislike it well that's okay too it's okay if you didn't like it that's fine and go ahead and hit the video on screen right now i'm going to show you guys 10 beginner tips for age of calamity and the video right next to it i'm going to show you how to farm rupees we'll catch you on the next one peace